Let's take a quick look at your activities and tasks within Pipedrive. So once you log in, you'll come over to this left-hand side where you see the calendar icon. Click on that activities tab. It's going to bring up a list of all of your activities. So right now we're in the to-do list. So you're going to see everything in red is overdue. Everything in green is happening today. And then everything in black is in the future. If you want to just see your tasks that are overdue, there are different options on the right-hand side where you can see things overdue, things today, happening today, uh, things tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera. Also on the, the left-hand side over here, you'll see a calendar option. It'll bring up one week at a time so you can see what's happening this week and you can toggle between different weeks there. There's also an option to sync your calendar with Pipedrive. So up here, you'll see this calendar sync option it gives you. You can go ahead and set up your calendar if you want to see your tasks in your Pipedrive calendar so it's one less thing to look at. Another nice option here is the meeting scheduler. So you can use it like Calendly and manage your availability. So you can set which days you're available for meetings and what time, how long the meeting should be, etc. Or you can suggest one time for a specific meeting. So you go to this meeting scheduler, click on specific times, pick a time. So let's say you want to ask if somebody's available tomorrow from 11 to 12 or 1130 to 1230. You can continue to the meeting details, fill out anything here that you need to put in. And then you have it gives you a link to put in your email. So you can copy this email link, put it in your email, say, hey, are you available for meeting tomorrow? Please pick a time. And then you'll see here on your calendar, if we go back to today, you'll see tomorrow it has it grayed out here. So that's just showing you that, hey, you have suggested a meeting time tomorrow so that you don't overbook yourself. But then once they select a meeting time, this will show up as a regular meeting on your calendar. These are each of the meeting types that Pipedrive has set up for you, but there is a way to edit those. So if you go to your name on this right-hand side and go down to company settings, click on that. The very first tab here, you'll see activities. This is where you can go in and you change these activities. You can add new activity types. You can turn some off if they don't apply to you. You can also see activities within your contacts, feeds, and deals. So when you're on a contact, click on their name. Right up at the top, you'll see activity. You can easily schedule an activity for that person there. Same thing with your leads. Click on a lead right at the top. Click add an activity. And then same thing with your deals. And at the top here, you'll see activity. You could add it in there. Now, the other thing you'll want to know about these activities is their color coding system. So when you're on your deals page, this gray is going to mean that you have an activity already scheduled in the future. So if you click on it, it'll give you a little bird's eye view of what that is. And then you can also add a new activity. Now, if it's in red, it means that you had an activity, but now it's overdue. Yellow is going to mean that you don't have anything scheduled. And so it will give you an option to schedule an activity there. And then lastly, the green one means that you have something scheduled today. And you'll see it's here on your seller pipeline and also on your buyer pipeline. It has the same exact color coding system there. Makes it nice and easy for you. Going back real quickly to a contact, if you pull up a contact, You'll see on the right hand side as well, when you are under this activity tab here, it'll show you these planned activities and ones that have been done. OK, so it gives you a nice little overview of create an activity. This is what's coming up. This is what already has been done. And then also, if you go back to your activities list, we can look at the to do list. Once you've completed an activity, you can just quickly check it off as done and it will remove it from your list. Or if you want to bulk edit, say you've done a couple of these things, you can click all of them. And then on the right hand side under bulk edit and done, you can hit done, save, and then it will ask. You're about to make five changes, confirm, and now all of those are marked as complete.